I, I really like um, this Relic Demon Hunter version compared to the Scythe Demon Hunter version because our biggest power hits are um, Relic of Dimensions, like super discounting things. And if you look at the side the H list, you don't really have any spells that are all that good that you can discount. Like the best card that you can discount generally would be Kurt for six mana. All of your other spells are cheaper than that. They're like five or less would be your best spells. Actually, the best spell that you can discount off of a Relic of Dimensions is a Relic of Dimensions, which in and of itself is kind of weird and funny. Um, but what I'm trying to do with this deck primarily, like our biggest payoff is we can have a zero mana Jace, a zero mana Zymox, a zero mana Bra Bran in like the high roll, biggest high roll scenarios. Um, it's not like we're going strictly for that, but that's like the top end of the power level of this deck, which I think far exceeds the, um, the Scythe Demon Hunter version. Scythe is good in its own ways. It has some good non-minion payoffs, but they've gotten a lot weaker ever since the quest has gotten the nerf. Um, and like, it feels really bad to play your Relic of Dimensions and like have a big discount and hit a one mana bound soul and make that one mana bound soul zero. Uh, and then with that zero mana bound soul, you discover something really expensive like Jace or Zymox. That's my whole reasoning behind it anyway. Three minions doesn't feel like enough. Not having them discounted and like this deck feels pretty bad. Yeah, well, you said what I said, but a lot more concise. <laughs> Nicely put. Yeah, makes sense. Something that frustrates you with Scythe is if Thief Row gets objection, the game is basically over. Oh yeah, it's super brutal. Um, objection will just end you because you only have three minions. That's another thing. This deck, it runs enough minions and also with discounts, you can make them cheap enough that they can play to counter your big like brand jace play or something and you can do it anyway or at least um have a cheap thing countered and then play your important minion and not just lose on the spot damn where's where's my scythe refund i hear you q i crafted a gold by the way i didn't ever dust it when um the you know the quest and the other things got nerfed even though i felt like i'm probably not playing scythe anymore i'm just like yeah i'm just gonna keep it gold maybe it's good in the future they might print more no minion support you never know hmm. all right this is always perjury right oh it's double cross interesting Ajara on three again, dude. Classic Asmo. Actually, classic Asmo. Um, I guess we lost. Go ahead and activate this Vizier first. That's not really very helpful. Sure, I guess we I beam just to kill this now. It's not a minion I want to see get shadow stepped. Alright, here comes the Colossal. Let's hope it doesn't win the game on the spot. Maybe it's um Ozimat. Yeah, that one's insane. That one's probably going to beat me. supposed to do at this point I 
could have gone for the chaos instead of the school teacher. If for nothing else, just to try to find a dimensions that I could play on the next turn, because I can't leave chaos and play a dimensions here. And that's probably the only thing that truly um, flips the game. I mean, I don't know. Arcanist and double fell is, is not bad to be holding. It does six. And it doesn't take too much more to clear up the behemoth. Like I can full clear this next turn. Which maybe has to happen. It's a random enemy minion, right? Yeah, so it wouldn't get to do extra. 11 incoming is no picnic. I guess we go cart now. Just clear up these two. I'm sure we'll see more minions on board for the Arcanist play. Kind of doesn't really matter. Most, most of what we do now, though, is Hyrule's too good. Okay. Well, Chaos Strike, Arcanist, double unleash fell. It clears the board. It heals me up a bunch. Go back to full. Um, I guess I'm not playing Chaos Strike though to lead. I'll just use the Fell Barrage. Does, does that even matter though either? With all the armor they're gonna gain? I have to kill him eventually, though, right? Let's do this. I mean, Chaos Strike into a Relic of Dimensions is still a playable turn. Uh, next turn, if we hit it. Kind of on a Hail Mary at this point. Typical Scam Rogue. Yep. Typical Asimo, Brooch fan. Turn three, Ajara. Yep. transform this game into something else entirely. Welcome to the cult. I can't remember if any of the things he had die are actually undeads. Oh, an underking. Oh my god. That's horrible for me. Okay. Well. That's not good. Guess it's got to be extinction. I'll kill the minion again. Oh, it's a rough situation here. got like all of the armor and healing this is insane he plays a stash recast bone collar and behemoth and under king bone collar dies summons another under king he's got two stashes plus a test incoming it's like actually never ever win this game right but there are chances we could win and it comes down to whether or not i can draw that relic of dimensions and do something crazy with it. In the meantime, though, I'm just super dead. Top decked it. Zero mana brand. Free Arcanist, too. Okay. Um, ooh, do I have to save the barrage to play with spell damage? He's got 19 on this board, so would I die here? Like, barrage does basically nothing. 
I don't know. I feel like I'm not even winning, even with a um, a, a brand Jace play. I think we have to chaos. I mean, I could trigger the three four, which is bad, but like I want to test for a noble sack. Is, is there just too many things? I think there's too many things. Oh, there's the galloping. I don't know, man. Am I dead? He's a lot closer to killing me now. He's already played a tooth, though. So it's still like, I don't think main decked cards should be able to kill me. Potion belt, I guess that'd be the one. Otherwise, though, I shouldn't be dead. And then, um, you know, this play here where I play all of these cards rescues me. His other play that wins would be like um, another uh, secret that counters my stuff. I don't know, it's fringe winnable, I guess. Oh my god. nonsense uh, I don't even know honestly well uh, I guess this is one of the rare occasions when Bran Jace is not gonna win beats me at this point we're just gonna do all of the things let's go nuts Uh, no, I don't live in Mexico, Semiconductor. Uh, my username's a sports reference. I live in um, the United States. Ooh. Jace. That was such a bad hit. We missed a lot of spell damage there. Brutal eye beam on my own Silver Moon Arcanist there. I mean, I don't know. If he doesn't have a another stash or Tess in hand, maybe we can actually win this game. He topped exit, insta win. It's like it's it's literally impossible, right? No shot. Disaster. Zymox and do what? That's GG. It's GG for sure. Like, I guess I can. Do I? I have to summon like all of the dudes, right? Do this and hope that it hits the behemoth. That was definitely not the outcome I wanted. 21 damage on board. I don't know. Um, I mean, I can maybe win if, uh, if he doesn't have scabs. Got three cards in hand. Ridiculous. 
It's just a classic Asmo game, Giggle Bros. He's gained an unbelievable amount of health and armor in this game. Oh yeah, naturally, uh, Sunwell here. I don't know, that's all like random outs. There is a insane amount of power on this board. I'm gonna... I think I'm like guaranteed to draw Relic of Extinction, right? so I can clear up other stuff if they don't use it for trading. Okay, that's upsetting. Clear up the other 10. my extinction there's stuff out of the way doing a lot of damage is there any point to playing fury now or holding it just kind of not right all of it here. I mean, this comes down to whether or not he has... I don't know if scabs necessarily even helps all that much. Um, it it kind of does. I think it does enough. Um, if these Sunwell spells are board clear, or if he hits Tess, um, he's already played two stashes. I don't know, it's still somehow like a little bit like winnable feeling. He was on an eight game losing streak before this one. Wow. Well, that's at least not, he, he doesn't have the immediate answer in hand right now if he's trading the Cutlass, right? Okay paid one mana for nothing just to make board space rogue secret doesn't matter that doesn't help now he can't play tests anymore with all the mana he spent or scabs yo i think we won did we still win you're kidding me i still won this game huh Okay. We did it. <laughs> we actually still won. Crazy. Crazy. What a comeback. Most people would have tilt conceded. Uh, you gotta show me. I'm super stubborn. You gotta show me that you, you win in the bitter end. I'll take it all the way there.